Hey guys, it's Jim here, and today we're going to be doing a quick comparison between a Made in America Gibson Les Paul Standard and this 1994 Orville Les Paul Standard made in Japan. Now I'm not going to waste your time, I know most people click on these kinds of videos strictly to hear the sound comparison, so I'm just going to break down the signal flow of how we're getting the sounds. Just guitar, straight into the rectiverb, SM57 interface, let's get started. Alright, that was pretty interesting. That's the first time I've played in a drop tuning in years. For whatever reason, I decided I wanted to use the modern channel on the Rectiverb. We haven't really used that since we've gotten it. So I tuned down and all of a sudden I kind of figured out how to play Spoonman-ish. You get the idea though, that was a lot of fun. Now that being said, I think that both of these are great guitars in their own right, but there's one major difference between the two of them, and no, it's not the playing feel, it's actually the electronics, more specifically, the pickups. These are Wildwood spec Allen Eco 2 pickups, and they are just to die for. And I always kind of liked the Orville until I put it up against these back to back, and I'm like, 
Oh yeah, there's a there's a pretty big jump there once you go from the Japanese humbuckers to the made in America Wildwood spec ones. So outside of that, when you're talking about the build quality and the feel of the instrument, you gotta keep in mind that guitar is 27 years old, the Orville. It still plays great. It held up amazing throughout all of this usage and all these years of being out and playing played live. This guitar I'm sure is gonna do the same thing. And, you know, it's inspiring to know that you don't need to spend $3,000 to be able to get a guitar that will feel like a proper Gibson Les Paul. Now, we've gone over several other single cuts on this channel, from Epiphone to Harley Benton to even Paul Reed Smith. None of them, regardless of the price point, really felt like a Gibson Les Paul. Well, obviously, because they're different brands, but the Orville is the one that gets you to the closest. And... It's something to be said about that, considering you can still get these for a reasonable price. But between these two guitars, there are a few other little differences. Obviously, this one has a much nicer top on it versus the plain top. That's, again, preference. This one has a 50s neck, so it's a little bit bigger. I like that a little bit more than the Slim Taper that's on the Orville. Again, preference. And finally, the weight. This one is a full pound lighter than the Orville, which is closer to the average weight of a Les Paul, no matter where you buy it from. Nine and a half pounds. This one is eight and a half pounds. So this whole, there's really not a whole lot in this one. This one was a little bit closer, and I really feel like if I was keeping that Orville and I upgraded the pickups to a higher standard, I think this would give this a serious run for its money as far as the feel and the tone of it. And well, it was built to last, and the Japanese did a fantastic job with that instrument. Keep in mind, that's the regular Orville. An Orville by Gibson will have the Gibson USA Classic 57s or the Bill Lawrence pickups in it from stock. Yeah, that would be an interesting comp uh, kind of competition. Maybe one day in the near future, we'll find ourselves doing that as opposed to just a regular old Orville. But that guitar has been sold. I gotta pack it up right after this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you took anything away, let me know in the comments down below. Could you justify paying for the whole finished product with this guy? Or are you okay spending a little bit less knowing you're still getting a quality product but might need a little bit of upgrading along the way? And last but not least, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow for the Thursday live stream holiday edition, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, Take it easy, everybody.